Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and a um, couple of questions here that have to do with 21H2 and 21 and 22H2 on Windows 10. A uh, few questions that people are are, are asking so we're going to have the um, you know, questions and answer session in this one. So right now there are technically two official versions of Windows 10 that are on computers and one that is in the release preview insiders that will release later this year. So 21H1, 21H2, and 22H2 are all versions of Windows 10 that exists in the uh, Windows world out there. When uh, we look at the uh, versions, uh, you should be either at 1904.3, 1904.4, and this one here, which I am in the Insider Preview, is 19.045, which is 22H2. Still, a certain number of you are on 21H1. And the first question I get is, when does 21H1 actually expire? Well, 21H1 was released in the first half of last year and will actually be officially um, end of support by the end of this year. So um, that is coming up uh, soon, but you still have a few, uh, a few um, months left before it actually does expire because uh, 21H2, uh, H1 is um, still for now going to be um, good for receiving updates until we get to the end of uh, December. So the um, 21H1 official end of support is going to be on uh, December of ter December 13th officially of uh, this year. So that's 19043. So you have some time left. And you don't have to worry too much, but um, quite a few of you say that you still don't see 21H2 in your Windows updates. So that could be normal. Um, don't worry. It's it's still, you know, probably not everybody still sees it. Even though they have said it's general availability, it doesn't necessarily mean everybody has it in their Windows updates. Something might be preventing it from actually showing up. Um, wait. Uh, my best, um, I think my best uh, recommendation here is to wait, and you'll see. And when you get real close, if still it's not there, then maybe force it at that time. But for now, I think waiting is the best option. It will eventually show up. Uh, the question, of course, that often comes to is, I don't understand why I don't see it. It's difficult because, you know, Windows... Telemetry gives a lot of details. It could be an outdated driver. It could be your, if you have a third-party antivirus, it could be that. It could be some other thing that you know, Windows or Microsoft doesn't like. The worst part is the majority of these systems that don't see it, if you upgrade, probably work fine. But it's just like they don't want to take any chances. So before they actually push you there, they're going to make sure that you know, it probably is okay. So just hang in there. Um, you got until December, so that's uh, that should be okay. The um, other question for some of you that are on 21H2 and see me on 22H2, the question is, uh, but when is 22H2? I don't see it when I go to my updates. I don't understand, you know, where it is. Uh, I still don't have it, and um, you have to be careful and listen when I actually post the videos because I do mention very clearly in every video of 22H2 that it's release preview in the insider rings and that means you have to be an insider right now to get it but eventually it will show up it's supposed to be in October or some somewhere around October of this fall with pretty much nothing in it so don't really go crazy over anything there and uh, that is going to be um, a very, very small cumulative update that pretty much has nothing in it. A uh, couple of enablement 
uh, in the settings, like some little changes in the action center, things like that. But overall, really nothing much. Um, it mostly bumps up the number, as you see here on your screen, with um, the build 19045. So that is not for everybody yet. It's going to be for everybody starting sometime this fall. So 22H2 for Windows 10. And last, a lot of people asking me if Windows 10 22H2 is going to bring a lot of the features of Windows 11. Nope. None of them. You're not going to get pretty much anything from Windows 11. They're focusing on Windows 11 as its own thing, and Windows 10 is really in the, just in the very quiet moment of, you know, let's just go through Windows 10 and keep it like it is until the end of 2025. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.